Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fake hyperlapse effect out of your normal speed videos. So a hyperlapse is basically a time lapse where the camera is also moving through space and time. Now normally you'd have to achieve this effect by stitching together a bunch of pictures. However, this method will allow you to simulate that time lapse moving through space effect using some basic video effects in Premiere Pro. So before we begin the tutorial, make sure you leave a like on it below, it helps me out, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We try to post new videos every day. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, at Justin Odisho, I'm real active at the messages, live streams, and stories on there. So go shoot me a follow, I'd love to connect with you. So now working on my clip, you can see I play this back, it's just a normal shot video normal speed, some people walking, but we don't want to use all these frames. We want to pretend that a picture was taken every certain amount and stitch that together. So if we actually go to the effects panel, let's search for an effect called posterized time. Now I'm going to click and drag this onto my video clip and you'll see that this allows us to adjust the frame rate of this clip, but it does so in a way that posterizes the time or separates the frames. So at the default 24 frames per second, it's going to look normal because our timeline is moving at 24 frames. But if I do something like lower this to one frame per second, then when I press play, you'll see that I only see one frame per one second. So now we've essentially created the effect where a picture was taken every one second. However, now we wanna get rid of all that extra space because I don't want this one frame to play for one whole second. So what you can do is right click on the clip, go to speed and duration, and now you have an opportunity to increase the speed so that each frame only plays for a normal amount of time. So if I take it from 100 to 800%, it's gonna play back eight times faster, and that'll result in a kind of stop motion or time-lapse effect. However, since the camera is moving in this example clip, we get a hyperlapse. So one downside of this is if you're not working with a particularly long clip, like at least 20 or 30 seconds to work with, then you might only end up with a couple seconds of hyperlapse footage. So keep in mind, if you're shooting for this style, maybe try to record for a minute so you have more information to work with. And also you can play around with the balance of the frame rate and the speed to kind of get the most out of your particular clip. So a good base one I found is 1.5 frame rate and 800% speed will give you the look of my intro example. So lowering the frame rate would be like taking less pictures throughout the time and increasing it would be like stitching together more pictures throughout the same amount of time. Quick little tip is you can always press R on your keyboard and use that to stretch in and out if you wanna do some fine tuning or if it helps you work within a sequence better. But that's basically how you create a hyperlapse or time-lapse effect out of normal speed video in Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel if you're not so you don't miss any of my future uploads. You guys can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho if you want to stay tuned with me. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.